two and three. Hey, Drew James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com. I hope you're having a great day. I'm going to be teaching you this very quick, easy, simple classical guitar piece called Malaguena. Now, this is brought from a much bigger arrangement of Malaguena, which I also have on my channel. So if you like this and you're getting to grips with this, there's two or three other quite easy parts in it. But I just thought I'd start with this one because this one is a lot of fun, especially if you're a beginner. So we're gonna take a little zoom in on the left hand. You can also grab the tab to this. I'll make sure that there's a link in the video description so that you can get that and in the video right now. Just takes a name and email address to join the student area of my site for free. Let's start learning how to play it. It's really fun. I do recommend that you get the tab for this so that you can read along. Uh, this is just a really simple, but lovely sounding classical guitar, simple piece. And if you do like this, then I've made a much more elaborate full version of Malaguena. So let's have a look at the beginning. So the first thing to understand is that the guitar has its six strings, obviously, and those strings, I give them names. Eddie A Dynamite, Goodbye Eddie, E A D G B E. With fingerstyle guitar, classical, I like to keep with the idea of actually what's originated through classical guitar, is that the thumb plays the top three strings, Eddie, A, and Dynamite. The index finger plays the fourth string down the G, the middle finger plays the B, and the ring finger plays the E. So if you were to play all six strings simultaneous from the thickest down towards the floor, you'd go thumb, 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 index, middle, ring. And as a little bass point for starting out with finger style and indeed classical guitar, having your thumb assigned on the thickest string and index, middle and ring sitting on their strings isn't a bad place to start. You kind of have this little space in the middle like you could hold a golf ball in here. Um, and that's just a really good place to start with, uh, with finger style, extending the thumb out a little bit. Okay, so to play this, we're going to be holding down in our fretting hand the second fret on the D string and the first fret on the G string. Make sure you're just pushing forward a little bit so you're not getting any muting on the G string. Make sure they're ringing. So if you've got those two held down, we then just need to pick them with our right hand. So we're not thinking too much about this hand, which is a good thing when we're learning about fingerstyle guitar. So thumb plays the D string to make that two. Then the ring finger plays the thinnest string. Then the index finger plays the one. Then the ring finger plays the thinnest string middle finger plays the B string and ring finger plays the thinnest string. So you can see every time we do something then the ring finger does the open string. Again. Good. Now we do actually do that again in the song. And as you get the hang of it, just start to speed it up look for nice sounds. If you're getting this, then just push your wrist forward, get on those fingertips. Okay, so that's the first two bars, we call them. We're then going to take this little thing that you were just doing with your fingers and move it down a set of strings. So you're going to move your index finger down to the B string on the first fret. This is number one, two, three, etc. And we're going to move the middle finger down to the second fret on the G string. Now this time we're going to start with our index on the G to play that two, ring finger playing the E, the thinnest, middle finger playing the B, and then the ring. Then just lift up the index finger off the first fret on the B, play that open, then ring. So that bar is... three bars together so far. Sorry. So if you understand, the only reason I made a mistake there is I was thinking what might help you is to think that the ring finger is always going throughout this. And it does make it a lot easier to understand. 
Finally, the last bar. We go second fret on the G string, then ring, then open on the G, then ring, then third fret using the ring finger on your fretting hand on the D string. And that's probably the hardest thing you're gonna find with fretting this. So it's... So the bar before... Now if you're being smart, you may have noticed as I moved from the bar before, I didn't lift up this two ever. So it's still leaving it there, then I have to lift it up. And then at that point, the beauty of learning this is that just goes round and round in a circle. So you can start to go back to the two. confident and the sound sounds good, no muting or buzzing, start to speed it up. Okay, so there you have it. That's a really easy version of Malaguena. Really pretty song to be playing, a great starting point for your finger style. If you really like this, I've made a full embellished version of Malaguena with lots of other parts sort of this sort of thing going on and hammer-ons and flick-offs so please check that out keep on playing